Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Keyword Surfer Chrome plugin for website SEO keyword research. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And I've loaded up Google here. And I'm going to type in a keyword like web designers, right? So I run a website design company. And I want to rank high for this keyword because I know that it could potentially bring me a lot of business. So we want to rank high for keywords that are valuable to our business. So if we scroll down, you can see my map listing here. You can see I've got like 259 reviews. I like to get lots of reviews. That helps with conversion rate. But then also if you look in the default listings here, you'll see me listed right here. So I want to rank high in the search results, right? But there's no point in ranking high for a keyword that doesn't bring any sort of valuable traffic to your website. So that's a valuable keyword to me. Now, how do I know that? What I'm going to do is open up another tab and let's go back to Google and I'm going to type in Keyword Surfer Chrome Plugin. I'm going to type in Keyword Surfer Chrome Plugin and you're going to see this website here, Keyword Surfer Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and click on that and we're able to install this extension. It's been installed 300,000 times and it's a very useful tool if you want to do some basic SEO keyword research. So let's go ahead and add to Chrome and we'll click Add Extension. Right, so now that the extension has been added, if we go back to here to this browser and if we refresh it, and let's just uh, make sure, yep, everything is activated. So as default, there's a drop down menu here and you can select a different country because you want to receive search results based on your local country, right? And if I click here and just set, set it to 20, for example, you can see more results here. But most importantly, when I type the keyword up here, I can see there's like 165,000 estimated search results per month. Right, so there's a lot of people looking for that and it's quite an expensive keyword to pay per click for. It's like $11.70 per click, right? So it's very expensive. So if you can rank high in the map listings and you can also rank high inside of um, the search results, then you've got a good chance of getting some traffic. You know, although it says 165,000, don't expect to get like 10, 20,000 uh, clicks to your website. It just doesn't work like that. But if you can rank high enough, then you can get some traffic and some of that traffic will convert into potential customers. Now, what's interesting about this plugin is it gives you alternative values here, right? So you can see like web designers, um, all of these other different ones here, different permutations of keywords, like London web design, for example. So I wanna rank high for also like London web designers. So if I type in London, web designers i'm based in london and i run a website design company i can see that returns less results it returns 4400 because it's more geographically specific but there's less competition on this if i click the back arrow you see there's like 500 uh, and 5 million results returned right so it's a big big keyword but if i go forward to london web designers you'll see there's 76 million results or call it 77 right so it's still a very, very big keyword to rank high for, but the, even the cost per click is actually higher, but it's very targeted. It, you know, there's only 4,400 results returned every month. But if I can rank high for this, and this is where I'm based, so then my customer base is local to me, it's better for me as well. So if we run down the search results, you'll see my map listing here again, and then you'll see me listed at position three this time, right? So I'm gonna rank high for that, and I've achieved that. So before we rank high for certain keywords, we want to do a bit of research. So you should open up an Excel spreadsheet, take the keyword, for example, let's take this one and I'll open up Microsoft Excel or you can use LibreOffice or something like that if you like. And you just type in here keyword. Let's type it in correctly, keyword, and then volume, right? So if we type in London web designers and if we go back to here, we can see there's 4,000. 400 results return, right? So we just want to keep a little spreadsheet that tells us what is the keyword that we want to rank high for, and we can even put our current position, right? So we could do something like map listing and then also Google search, right? So where do I rank high or where do I currently rank in the map listings? I can see for that keyword, I'm like position two, and that might change from time to time. So you might want to update this spreadsheet maybe once once a month and I'm at position three. So if you're doing some um, guest post blogging or if you're doing lots of articles on your website or you're optimizing your content, it's worth also checking to see the work that you're doing. Is it reflecting in the search results? Are you getting better search results? So we'll manage to do the other one as well. So here's web designers. We'll paste that into here. We can see that it returns much more results, 
right? And we go to the map listing and I'm at the position one, which is really good for me. And then we go to the search results, I'm at position four. So I want to try and improve the rankings here. There's not much to improve, but if I can just move up a few places in the Google search and maybe move this to position one, then I know that that's going to be better for my business in the long run. So these are only two keywords, but I, I want to potentially rank high for hundreds of them, right? So it's worth spending the time and the energy to try and rank as high as possible for many different types of keywords. Um, then you can get some good traffic to your website, targeted traffic, and then that can potentially lead to more customer sales um, and generate some more revenue for your business. Right, and just remember down the side here, keyword surf is giving you lots of other results, like it's one of 20 uh, of 81 results. So I do believe that there's a way um, to, let's see, clipboard. I think there's a way that you can export it from here. I believe there was before, but maybe not now. But what you can do is just select all of the content here. Just select it with your mouse, copy it, right? Just press Control C to copy, and then go back to your Word document. You could create a new tab here and then just paste them into here. It doesn't paste very well though, does it? So like the keyword and then the result is sitting underneath. It would have been better if it was side by side. Uh, but you could do that just for reference and you can start to work through these keywords to see where you can rank or where you currently rank for them, right? But I was pretty sure there was a way to export this data, but um, it doesn't look like maybe they've removed that functionality uh, possibly. But then you can tab to the side here, you can see more keywords and then you start to look at other areas like Manchester and other areas that are not exactly London, but like things like web designers near me, these are good things to rank higher for, things that are very specific and geolocated, right? So that's what I use Keyword Surfer for. I install that onto my Google Chrome and then I search for a specific keyword. So I can search for web designers or web designers in London or different permutations of keywords. See where I'm currently ranking. A little tip for you, if you install, um, if you set yourself up with um, Google um, Search Console, then you can actually see your search results directly in the browser as well. So that's also something worth thinking about is getting yourself set up on Google Search Console. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. This is how you use Keyword Surfer to do keyword research for your business. Don't forget that when you find these particular keywords, you really want to go to your website, right? So this is my website, and you wanna mention those keywords. Can you see how I've mentioned it right here? And if I take that keyword, and if I press Control C, and then Control F, and look for that keyword, I can see that it's mentioned 22 times, but I've got a lot of content on my page that helps me to uh, emphasize that particular keyword, but you can see it's spread out thoroughly across the page, right? It's not all packed together, and there's many different permutations of different keywords all outlined on this home page, so I can rank better for those in the Google search results. Let's go ahead and minimize this, and we'll close down this web, uh, this Excel here. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.